Let me get that boy. <sighs> All right, greetings, brothers and sisters. How y'all doing? All uh, praises to the kingdom in the name of Yahushua on the body of Yahuwah. Hold on, let me get right. <clears throat> All right, so it's been like a week. Some change. Like, um... Yeah, it's been like a week and some change. Niggas ain't uploaded shit. But somehow people still subscribe and I ain't nothing but y'all. But anyway, look, before I even get into, like, the point, man. So today's the 17th. It's early. You can see it's 10.33. Let's just, let's just look at what happened just yesterday. Let's just look at everything that's, that just happened in the past day. Yesterday. Okay, so we got Trump expects eight or more nine areas to join the Israel peace agreement. Okay. Scientists create gene edited animals <laughs> as surrogate sires to boost food production. And you know what I said about them, uh, you know what I be saying about them quotations. We don't get into a whole bunch of them. We got, bro, we got a lot to talk about today. Comedian gonorrhea increasing among younger women. Miami Pastor trying to kill Hurricane Sally. Doctors prepared in the world's first human bionic eye. Would Jesus Christ return to be the right uh, North Korea may soon conduct underwater launch missile test. Michael said, take your mask off. We're not going to take it. U.S. outlines plan to buy free COVID-19 vaccines and the peace agreement that Israel just signed. Da, da, da. That was all just yesterday. <laughs> so I started this video off with that. Basically to say, man, look, we've been talking for a very long time about how the birth pains and how, you know, the earth going into labor, whatever you want to call it, and how these things are just going to go up into intensity and become more and more, basically, okay. become more and more, you know, intense. And so, I mean, you look at the shit you see around you, like, dog, there's no way for me to say this without sounding redundant, but nigga, it's over, like, time is done. And I'm like... I've been saying it for a while. We've all been saying it for a while. Like, the first video I uploaded on this damn um, channel was, like, nine months old. I made that towards the beginning of this year. But, like, <laughs> I don't even know how to put this, dude. It's like, we niggas was, all right, if, if, if y'all play video games, you gonna know what I'm saying. But if not, just try to, like, put yourself in these shoes. Basically, like, we've been playing the final level of this game right this video game and you know in a lot of games especially like older ones once you get to a certain point in the final level it'll tell you like all right this is it once we go past this point there's no turning back if you want to go do some side quests or go buy some shit now's the time because after you um hit yes or no on this prompt or whatever you either gotta finish the game or cut the shit off and come right back to this point and make the choice again, you feel me? We talking about video games. That's what's happening now, though. Like, <laughs> we finna get into it, but dog, like, I'm chilling, cause boy, I can, boy, <laughs> boy. But as far as the world goes, man, yeah, this is the point of no return, cause like, no funny shit at all. Like, it's never been funny. But like, dog, this is literally like what all these damn videos niggas been making. What everybody's been talking about, what all this has been leading up to, dog. Like, <laughs> the time for talk is, man, you know, let's just get to the video. So, anyway, I don't know exactly when this shit came out, this movie, uh, Cuties. I'm sure you, there's no way you haven't heard of it. You had to have heard of this shit by now. But I recall seeing something about this shit, or like basically niggas getting mad about this shit, dropping on the 5th, September the 5th. So ever since, we can use that as a marking point, we'll just say this shit came out on September the 5th. And if you don't know what Cuties is, basically it's child pornography. It's a movie about a bunch of girls, it's a French movie about a bunch of girls dancing lustfully that's working there's it's really bad it's really really bad i'm not gonna talk about it because it pisses me off this i brought up this uh article right here in particular the washington post one of the most popular news articles when like one of the damn one of the damn gold standards cuties is an unflinching look at what it means to be a preteen girl 
No wonder people can't handle it. So three minute scenes of 11 year old girls twerking, spreading their legs. And also now it gets worse. There's a there's the um one scene, a little child exposes her bare breasts. Yep, in the movie. It's on Netflix right now. You can go watch it if you want to. <laughs> Don't ever come back on this channel. Uh, Cuties director. And the worst part is, it's not. It was not directed by a fucking satanic white man like you would think. Nah, it was directed by this bit right here. <laughs> she made this movie about these four girls. These four little girls, these sweet little innocent souls, just get completely taken advantage of and dejected in this movie by a black woman. <laughs> a sellout. Because, you know what, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Hold up. Move on. Being slayer. Which one is this nigga? Alright. You see this nigga right here? This is Demon King. From Demon Slayer, right? He looks like Michael Jackson. That's not even who I meant to look up, though, but that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my god, get out of the way. Bruh. It's weekend. Alright, anyway. What's that nigga name? Hold up. Strongest Moon Demon Slayer. I'm trying to make a point here. They just do the same shit. Kokushibo. Alright, that's that nigga name. Alright, so Kokushibo. Demon Slayer. Alright, so this is strongest demon in this, uh, oh my gosh, in this shit, right? He's the strongest demon. And he was the first, uh, the first demon hunter to become a demon. And he's also the twin brother of this dude right here, which is basically the strongest or one of the strongest demon slayers to ever live. And he uses something called the Breath of the Sun. Which in the Demon Slayer universe basically is the demon's kryptonite, like it is in real life. And we done talked a million times about our bloodlines, the sun, how all that shit go. We already know we live in this matrix. We already know. <laughs> we already know that these niggas is terrible. They do all this shit to stupefy niggas, as we talked about before. And the reason I bring that up though is in the series, the strongest demon and one of the strongest um good guys are related. They're from the same line. One just went the wrong way. Nigga. That's exactly what we have right here. As you can see, she's clearly black. She's clearly melanated. Even though she got a perm and that shit. Not looking too good, but she's clearly black. But um this bitch is a witch. <laughs> so I mean like that's how that's how you gotta realize that's how it started. Black people are the progenitors of all. Like people, races, all culture, all that, you know. He was the ones that came first. And <laughs> some of us chose not to walk along the right hand path. <sighs> man, oh man. So I say all that to say. We got dude, like I'm not showing any clips, but the movie is way worse than you think. You might be thinking, hold on, let me cut this TV off. The movie is way worse than you think. You might be thinking it's just like, oh, it can't be that bad. He might, no, it's it's that bad. You don't even have to look up the fucking movie or like clips of the movie. Just watch some reviews on YouTube. And that'll show you everything you need to know. And I say all that just to say we can use it, like I said, as a big ass marking point, bro. This shit came out what the fifth of September, I believe. Now, let me see if I can actually find this verse real quick. Um, Bible before you think I have no idea. About. Hopefully, I can find it because I don't know what to look up. It's been a while since I read this verse. I remember there was some verse. Yeah, yeah, this is it. <laughs> Alright, so look. Is this the Messiah talking? I don't remember. Okay, this is the Messiah talking. Alright, so yeah. Basically, this is <laughs> this is the Messiah. This is the Yahushua saying, Dog, before you think about harming a child or passing through the fire, kill yourself. This is the Messiah saying that. But whoever causes one of these little ones who will leave me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the steep. So he basically just said, it, that can be applied either way. Whether a motherfucker do it to you 
or because the way I read it, it might be a different translation, but I remember the first way I read it, it basically read off like he was saying, nigga, tie a heavy stone around your waist and walk into the sea. So, my nigga, when it comes to harming children, the Messiah, the Messiah is literally telling niggas to kill themselves, bro. This shit is not a game. This shit is not a game. Man said, just like with Judas, basically. Uh, now, with Judas, they said, uh, better for you not to have been born. But this shit, man, bro, before you think about harming a child, kill yourself. Plain and simple. Plain and simple, right? <laughs> so, I'm going to um, let you tell me. How long do you think I was going to let this go? <laughs> How much longer do you really think that I was going to let this world keep going? Because you've already known. You can look at this entire year. It's been one steady escalation period. We've already been knowing for a very long time that this shit was finna come to a close. So now we got real child porn on Netflix. How long do you think the rock that keeps on a rolling is going to let this shit go unsquashed? I just, I just want you... I just, I just asked. So this is 10 days after the damn movie came out, I think. Major fires threaten, major fires threatens billion dollar broadcast towers in LA. And we already know California been fucked up. But one thing that some of y'all probably know is that shit is actually way worse than you think. It's just that they're trying to keep motherfuckers isolated, but like, dog. <laughs> everybody like everybody steady forgetting about everything, all the shit that already done happened earlier this year, like towards March. All the flooding and fires and locusts and shit. And now we got even more flooding, even more flies, even more fires, even more locusts and shit. It's like, bro. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's like, dog, it's honestly just obvious. Niggas really <laughs> Man, let's just move on. Let's just keep moving forward because I just feel so many ways that I could digress. But anyway, this bitch is going straight to hell. That's a given. But yeah, man, uh, just think about that. This shit came out, like I said, I think the fifth. Just think, how much, how much longer do you think this is? <laughs> how much longer do you think all this is gonna keep going on? Just think. But uh, yeah. Back on track, back on track. All right, so y'all know how they be doing with these damn headlines I made. That's one of the first videos I ever made, so I figured we can just do that for a minute. See what the fuck they're talking about. All right, so this is from two days ago, the Abrahamic Accord. Now, this in itself is extremely significant because... All right, I guess I should explain this. Now, when it comes to all these prophecies, like, for example, this whole um, peace plan and the treaty and shit, Basically, these niggas is just acting out prophecy. Like Zionists study the Bible, and they are they like their culture. They like being the good guys. They like killing for sport. They like it's the it's the it's it's the dark side versus the good side. We like being good guys. I like being a good guy. I like waking up every morning and knowing that my soul is literally empowered to save the world. <laughs> you know, it's it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. On that note, actually, let me digress a little bit. Not uh, digress. Sidetrack. On that note, as far as, like, spiritual warfare, man, man, we getting good. Well, I'm getting good, but I know the rest of y'all getting good, too, because it's like, um, I can feel it, like, the, just weird. <laughs> yeah, I was raising his army, basically. Like a tip, I guess I could say. But, like, spiritual warfare, if you, like, struggling with really, um, basically, that's, like, strong issues... Like, matter of fact, you know what? I'll say that for the end of the video. Yeah, I'll say that for the end of the video. Stay tuned for, uh, we're gonna talk about spiritual warfare at the end. Anyway, these Zionists and shit, they like what they do. So, they just be acting out the Bible, acting out, like, their part in prophecy, I guess. I don't really know all the details, but that's basically how it goes. So, because you have to remember, these niggas are doing everything they can to keep what's about to happen from happening. Because what's about to happen is literally their reckoning. It's their end. <laughs> so, peace agreement. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. We'll do that. Uh, we'll do that one as well. But the Abrahamic Accord, a great awakening or a great shaking. That that right there is coded in itself. If you just read between the lines, we just gonna take one. They got the Abrahamic Covenant, uh, the Great Awakening, 
in the great shaking. Let's just do the great awakening. You are actors. I am real. What did I just get through talking about? <laughs> Come on. And now, as I said before, but I got to say it all the time, especially now, it just keeps getting worse and worse. That's why That's why so many injuries in here talking about, or basically, yeah, or his spirit talking to people like, you will pay for uh, blocking my word, or uh, you will be punished for putting in false entries. They're spamming the fuck out of this shit because they don't want niggas to know. And they just scared. And they really just, they running out of options. <laughs> like, I really don't even know how to put this shit across. Any more, like, um, urgently? Like, these, it's over, dog. It's over. We all going back to work. Let's see, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Guys will be done, and I'm going blind throughout all these. I ain't on look through none of these shit before. I was just like, walk up this morning. I was like, nigga, I'm finna make a video because this shit fucked up. Predatory nature. That's yes, they do very much indeed, very much indeed. I am that I am, Holy Spirit, all that. Joy to heal all is coming back. Bride of Christ, angel of days, heaven on earth, the stars born. We've been through this shit a million times. The alien signal. <laughs> what aliens do they talk about, bro? Zodiac finds God, 777. You know, there's a reason why there are 12 animals in the Zodiac, all that shit. Nuclear signal, energy signal, a, radi a radiation ray. Like we talked about before, like, um, that nigga, yeah, he been talking about, like, everybody knows at this point who I'm pretty sure is on this damn channel. These niggas are communicating to each other. Much radiation, nigga, what? Gamma in the air. And I know y'all feel that shit, what is shit again? <laughs> Every single day, more and more and more and more and more. Cause he finna go crazy. <laughs> we'll talk about that more um towards the end of the video. But yeah, this ain't any, uh this no code if you stand on the first page. I mean no no extra codes, no extra algorithms, stand on the first page, all that. This is just the damn um just the words on the first page is to see. Cause I already know how much deeper we can get with this shit. Let's go on to the next one. Come on, fine. All right. L.A. County schools won't be open until after the election. No going to the movies unless a vaccine has existed for almost a year. So now, if you really just pay attention, I noticed this shit from like the jump. When I just noticed how, like, for example, it'll be like, oh, World War Three, this, then oh, no World War Three, but it might be though. And then the vaccines and the COVID shit. It's just like, I'm going to be thinking, why are they they're playing with people's emotions? I don't know if I put this, uh, I don't know if I said this before, but it's like they're stirring a big ass pot, basically. Like, when they put out all these different psyops, it'll be like, um, fucking, oh, murder hornets. Uh, they're coming, they're going to kill us all. Now motherfuckers like, oh my God, the murder hornets. Then niggas like, oh nah, they, they 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 cool, but they might still be here though. Now niggas anxious, like, nah, they might be here. And then they they be like, oh they're gone. Now everybody's straight. Oh, what a relief. Now they're back again. Oh, everybody's even more scared now. What they're doing is literally stirring a big ass pot of demonic ass energy. That's all they're doing. They're just fucking with people to get energy, bro. Like, it's honestly so simple. Niggas just gotta stop thinking about this shit on a um regular worldly level on a fucking walk outside, walk up the street, and you see Burger King level. That's not what we're on, bro. It's so much bigger than this. That's not what we're on. That's all the niggas do is just stir in a big-ass pot. Because like I said before, they, um, they're they not connected to our power source. So they got to get all that energy from the spells they be casted from somewhere. And I'm sorry my uh voice be fucking up or sounding weird. I got, uh, fucking, I'll just look it up. You probably heard of it. Invisible line. I got these holes in my mouth. So maybe sound like I got a lisp and shit, but not nah, really. It's just all, that's all it is. Snake. <laughs> Snake Brotherhood origin. Look how many times, bro. These niggas. I'm telling you. The calm before the storm. <laughs> There's a storm coming. Bright and morning star. The sun of uh, God reincarnated. Dragon Slayer. Everything I just talked about, all this shit you see, true intention, all this shit you see, one of Jermatri's purposes, because they took this shit, they made it all spooky and uh, mystical and named Jermatri and shit, that's not what this shit is called, it's not even like, 
This shit is not some separate system. This is just a way to look at how the channel world works. Like, there's a reason why the same patterns show up all the time throughout creation. It's intelligent. You let the New Agers or them damn left hand pathers or them damn fallen angels tell you. They'll just say, oh, it's the flower of life, you know. Um, all this shit came from the source consciousness because they just want to bypass our father because they're unrighteous as fuck. That's all it is. So that's why all that, um, goddamn bullshit comes from with all that tree of life nonsense, all that egg of life nonsense, all that stupid shit, all that sacred geometry, bro. They just, like I said, like everybody said before, who be talking about this type of shit, uh, who knows at least, who knows anything <laughs> about something, they can't create. All they can do is twist and distort. So if you got a rogue angel who wants to be God and wants to be worshipped by these humans and wants to be seen as a fucking goddamn savior, man, God, who came down and enlightened everybody. Okay, well, obviously they can't tell them the truth because then they just gonna start uh, worshiping who they should have been. <laughs> so what do they do? They lie. It's very simple, bro. They complicated for a reason. <sighs> what else these niggas talking about? Um, what does it say? Donald Trump, Michael Pence, yeah, trumpets, 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 blow the trumpet. We will win. Washington, ten Phoenix. Oh, I've seen this one before. Pythagoras, purple rain. <laughs> Ten Phoenix, Ten Phoenix, what Ten Phoenix? What the fuck is a Ten Phoenix? I'm making a What is a Ten Phoenix? Hold up. Phoenix Economist Magazine. That is silly. What you forgot? <laughs> they still using this shit. Like, they, they still using this shit. Like, it just doesn't change. These, these niggas just do not change. And this shit came out in 1988? 88? That's what it's talking about? Apparently? They still using this shit, like... <laughs> uh, uh, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm about to go crazy. Now, look. This is one of the worst pictures I've ever seen in my entire life, by the way. I just figured I put that out there. Trump makes threat to Iran. U.S. will respond uh, 1,000 times greater to any attack. By the way, when you hear motherfuckers talking about Israel and Iran, they're talking about us. The real us. Uh, what did I say? My memory is terrible. 1,000 times greater. <clears throat> Let the Vatican. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> fucking devils. Damn, serpent. Hillary Clinton, yeah, that bitch. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, nah. Side note. Nigo, I got something for y'all. Hold up. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put in a clip of what I mean after I say what I'm about to say. But basically, if you know you're part of this, you know you're on our side, because, bro. Uh, I gotta explain this. Alright, bro. It can feel kind of corny sometimes. Because they did this shit on purpose. They put all that, oh, the power of love. Or in the anime, they'd be like, um, I fight for my friends and all that shit. To make it corny on purpose. Because love is by far the most powerful frequency in this universe. Alright? So, like, these damn demons and fallen angels and shit, love is literally deadly. If you, like, love hard... Unconditionally love hard and the purpose of a damn fallen angel or something trying to kill you. That's like taking out a shotgun and motherfucking blasting a nigga. Like, right in this shit. Like, these, these, it's power. There's power in love. There's power in fighting for your friends. There's power in shit like that, man. That's why they always, um, that's why they've been doing this for so long, trying to make this shit seem corny. But anyway, so if you know who you is, you down for the right hand side, you down for my father's side, you ready to fight and all that. Dog. Go watch this video. Watch the whole damn thing. It's going to put everything in perspective. And it's going to get you real fired up. But also, if you want to see something interesting, watch this whole video. Watch this whole video. It's going to be easy. It's, it, it, time's going to fly by when you're watching this video. Because this shit is going to make you feel like... <laughs> and then it make you, uh, make you clench your fist, stand up. Then it make you want to goddamn wrap something around your face, get out there and get to work. But nah. 
give it some time. We're going to be good. Trust me. Trust me. We're going to have plenty of opportunities and plenty of um the means to put in some work. All right? But watch this whole video. Then after that, watch this whole video. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. You'll see exactly what I mean. I'm going to put it in a little clip. But anyway, after that, we're going to get back to the actual video. Pirates. However, a second common phenomena occurs in the unfortunate or perhaps even fated event in which the bearer of the initial D faces the unavoidable prospect of death. In such situations, they are often seen laughing or smiling, having come to an incredibly quick acceptance of their fate and holding no fear of death whatsoever. This is a trend so common that it has been observed no less than six times in the series, the most prominent of which being the very first moments of One Piece where Goldie Roger is executed. However, it has also arisen in figures such as Jaguar D. Soul upon his death, as well as Luffy and Trafalgar Law in their respective situations almost certainly facing death. Now, as for this quick acceptance of death, this may have to do with the third common factor surrounding the will of D, which is the nature of inherited will. Now, this Thus it is the case in the Caribbean, where Elizabeth is queen, in Belize, the Bahamas, Barbados, St. Lucia, and Jamaica, and in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Christopher and Nevis, that a royal pen wields terminal power on death row. Thus, as a direct result, on the 16th of May 1975, in Royal Jail, Port of Spain, the prison superintendent arrived at a cell door at dawn, and he handed Michael de Freitas, the prisoner waiting inside, the dismissal of his last appeal, signed Elizabeth R. Then he'd say, with a fatalistic grin, So, now I'm in a cell in her royal jail, and now it's her powerful royal noose that sends me to her kingdom come. Can you dig it? Alright, so. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> I was just talking about how powerful love uh how powerful love is. Would you look at that? Synchronicities. What else they talking about, man? Jumanji of Prophecy, Mashiach, Yahusha! Man, I don't know about y'all. Well yeah, of course y'all do, man. <laughs> I, I just be like Going throughout the day, just out of nowhere, I just spontaneously just start proclaiming how much I love my father, like so much. Like, I literally just like be laying down or like contemplating some shit or walking up the street. It doesn't matter, my nigga. <laughs> like, in my mind, I literally just start saying, like, Oh my gosh, I would, like, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Back to back, I say that shit like 40 times in a row. It's quite the beautiful feeling. What are they talking about? I'm rebuilding the Matrix. They trying to. We've been talking about that. Crash and Macus, so, uh, yeah. The number of the last day, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, not when you expect it. Predictive programming. All this shit. Harvesting adrenochrome. Christ's uh, resurrection. What are they talking about? The Hebrew scriptures, yeah. You're all living in the dream. They're talking about us. Bad to be superior. <laughs> Who are they trying to be superior to? Us, demonic psychic powers. Now they using that shit right now, and I know we said we was gonna talk about um the spiritual warfare a little later on. Yeah, we'll save it. We'll save it, man, because that's that's a lot. That's a lot. So we'll save it. Let's go on to the next one. Let me but yeah, keep in mind this is all just uh no extra algorithms. We're staying on the first page. We're not fucking around with different spellings or anything like that, man. This is just as basic as you can go, and they already talk about a lot. Sumerian communication. What's this nigga talking about? Uh, do or die. I'm on for America. All right. Remember, uh, Satan and his angels masquerade themselves as ministers of light. Yeah. You want to see this? <laughs> Look, man. A lot of these motherfuckers you think is humans and not humans. You want to see a perfect example? I don't know. Oh, shit. Wow, rip that spear right at you, boy. Right at you, boy. I oh, don't freeze. Don't start tweaking. Of course you're going to tweak while this... Um... <laughs> of course this shit going to tweak while this nigga face on the screen. That's crazy. How long have I been recording? See, 30 minutes down. I don't give a fuck. All right, let's see. Do it I'm on for America. Leader of the Illuminati. Well, damn, boy. <laughs> Just put it, put it all out there, huh? The perfect storm. Time is an illusion. 
I'll let you pray on that one. Yours, Clooney, Thunder and Lightning. Hey, that's your boy, Cosmic Energy. Together Strong. Who is? <laughs> Who is? Crucified Christ. He will come in a red jet plane. Red jet plane. Red horse. Red horseman. Me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bible, the meaning of numbers, is a prophecy, not a game. It is, bro. It is prophecy, not a game. <laughs> It's not no okay, bro. Like, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. These people are stupid. One world government they ain't getting it. <sighs> Love you very much. I do. Greater Key of Solomon, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Who is? You mean these pastors? The ministers? The original white light, the uh, disclosure of aliens. The real one, not the fake one. Uh, Lucifer's light is like a flashlight. It's like your iPhone flashlight. Yeah, it illuminates. I mean, it does. It illuminates. But, mother, bitch, go outside. <laughs> what you mean? Go outside on a sunny day. Um, Yeah, there's no comparison. I mean, all you gotta do is look at how it looks. Like, the fucking, the false light, the flashlight, it's white. Like, the color of it, it's a white light. But, Yahoo is like, the real light is full spectrum. Like, if you just shine a flashlight on a room, it's going to look like you're bathing in a room with white light. But if you shine full spectrum light on the room, it's going to look like just every... It's just going to look like the darkness is gone. You feel me? Like, it's... <laughs> I don't get these niggas, bro. Uh, I lost my train of thought. No, I didn't. Who are the divine children? Us, me, you. We've been through this a million times before. The silence of the storm. Look, I... I just like noticed. I was like September's. I, I noticed. I was like September started off at like, the first four days. They started off kind of slow, and I was like, "Dog, this shit gonna pick up." And yeah, it picked up. Oh, the seven pointed star. Them niggas tripping. The creator of Jesus Gene. Who you think? Who you think that is? You have no power here. Da, da, da. Yeah, they took you. So <laughs> these niggas, man. Y'all see, that should be enough to spare y'all. I don't want to go that down. Dude, that's your damn self. But let's talk about... Um, I kind of want to see what this was talking about, but I don't really give a fuck, so I'm not going to. Let's just talk about this one and this one. And that. Uh, all right, so as far as these vaccines... um, Playbook, okay? They got quotations. I won't say it. Let's see what they're talking about first before I say what I was about to say. <laughs> Under prediction, I am the Antichrist. Well, you know what? That just leads right to fucking what I was gonna say. RFID, uh, microchips, and all that shit. That's what they're going for. I'm not taking that shit. <laughs> and again, that's why I was like, uh, they, they was doing it again with the vaccines. You've probably been hearing so many conflicting uh, sources about the vaccines. Like, um, nigga, we doing this, we doing that, we not doing this, we doing this. Oh, here it is. I just talked about it earlier. Speaking of vaccines, let me show you something funny. One of the niggas who was uh, supposedly gonna make a fucking uh, vaccine, Actress Anika. I looked them up my damn self because I was like, just the name sounds fucked up. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Let's see what's, let's see what's, let's see what's happening. 678, my area code, blood. Ray God on Earth, Holy Spirit. Raven, a bird of prey, I believe. And if it's not a bird to pray, the brother is a bird to pray. This is how these niggas work. But yeah, um, don't take that shit. If a motherfucker tell you, take this shit or you're losing your job, I guess you fit me running it up, my nigga. Do not, do, don't, don't take, bro, don't take this shit. Matter of fact, I'm going to come, um, let me enhance my voice real quick. Just for this one little, uh, line. Do not take this damn vaccine. Okay? Appreciate it. Anyway. The damn peace agreement. Alright, so... Oh, my God. Look. Go watch that video about uh, Thoughts Camera Action, bro. You will... Looking at these niggas will just boil your blood to the point of evaporation. Before you thought your shit was just boiling hard before. Ah, right, nigga. Watch that video. Anytime you see a motherfucker like this... Or the queen, 
or anything like that, nigga, you just gonna wanna <laughs> put your hand around a nigga neck, just, <clears throat> you feel me? God. Oh, I can't stand these niggas, but I digress. Okay, I digress. I digress like a marvel, because that's not the point. It's just my true nature, bro. When I see these niggas, I tweak. Ooh, 708. That's an area code. Would you look at that? The first thing that pops up. 13. <laughs> 13 tribe, you know. That's the that's the devil's uh that's the devil's favorite number, damn near. 13. <laughs> and like I said, uh you can probably tell by this structure of this video, I'm just doing all this shit off of, uh I'm just going. I'm not uh setting none of this shit up at all. Let's just see what they talk about on the second page. Microsoft. Ooh, Bill Gates. Ooh, ugh. The Matrix, the Storm, the Great Reset. Guys, Kingdom Heaven's in. Yeah, we can go, man. It's pretty redundant. Y'all get the idea? Don't listen to anything these niggas say. Because, <laughs> like, you have to just, like, bro. It's the same shit. Let's say you fucking, you and your girl, y'all babysitting or something. You trying to tell Shadi go upstairs because you trying to get down. Okay, well, obviously, y'all can't say what y'all want to say in front of this little nigga because he's going to get it. So what do y'all do? Y'all talking cold. End the story. That's all they're doing. I want to show y'all something. Um, Nima. By the way, look. I put y'all on Shadi before, but look. Oh, she's so pretty. But anyway, uh, these videos are just great. All of them. From, like, right here to right here. Just watch all these videos. And the other ones, too, if you want to. But we here, but she's so pretty. But we here for uh just one. If you haven't already, uh, okie dokie. So, go watch this video and go to this ten forty two mark if you want to hear her talk about it. If you don't, then I'm gonna talk about it. <clears throat> well, if you want to talk about, if you want to hear her talk about it in detail. I'm not gonna get to everything. All right, so. What are marine spirits? Basically, you know how this is the reason why all the beasts are always coming out the fucking water. They've been there the whole time. The earth is hella water. There's so much less land on this earth <laughs> than water. That's where they at. That's where Polyon at. That's where all these dickheads is at, bro. I basically I'ma um lay it out for you. Fuck it. I'm not I'm not scared. I don't care. You know. I'm fighting them. Shit, it's already out there. It's already out there. If you would like, basically, ever had um experiences, with basically getting raped by like spirits or shit, this is where they come from, bro. Or like any spirit that's like basically like, I think they call it um, it's called like collective entrapment. If you just, if it's like a basically a generational curse, bro, that's where all this shit comes from. It like suck you by and shit, just. That's where they come from, bro. So, I seen this video a long time ago. Not too long, but long enough ago. And it just all clicked. And I'm going to uh, input <laughs> little screenshot on the screen. It's going to get some context as to why, as to the story, I guess. <sighs> so, basically, for a while, like, um, <laughs> um, I uh, <laughs> basically, like, been getting like uh taken advantage of by like these spirits and it's like been the same one and i didn't really know because i like used to just pray a lot and just try to like get it to stop because basically just put me through a fight mentally and spiritually and i was like uh, i just didn't know what it was or why it seemed to be so damn strong and so i watched this video it all makes sense uh, it was a couple months ago, though. Things happened. I learned even more. I came back, watched again. Now it makes even more sense. But this is... <laughs> no, this is the fucking thing. The reason I even watched this video again, or why it came up to me, is because my mom, who was also... I talked about this before. Also spiritually aware, basically told me that she had um, a dream. And my mama doesn't really have dreams like that. She basically... She's like a... Um... Was it Daniel or Joseph? It's like a like a like a 
Daniel type. I think it was Daniel. She was a Daniel type. I think Joseph could do it too, though. But she was like a Daniel type. Basically, she could like uh, interpret dreams. So she doesn't really be having dreams like that. She usually the one that you come to and then she tells you what it means. But she basically told me that she had a dream that she was, and it started her. She said she woke up and she was troubled by it. And she had a dream that she was in my house. And she said there's some blonde, um, blonde white dude in here, right? And she said that he was very arrogant, like very, very, very arrogant, like devilishly arrogant. And she said that um, he, uh, she was like, what are you doing in my house? And she said that it said, I always be in your house. Arian. And she was like, what you mean? What are you doing here? Like sternly, because, you know, my mama ain't no, um, ain't no pushover in real life. Damn, she's not spiritually. So she's like, what are you doing in my house? You need to go. And she said, the demon said, like, Ask your son. Ask your son while I'm here. Like, all arrogant. And she said that in the dream, she went in there and um, she asked me. But she said that, like, I didn't want to, um, like, I didn't want to say anything. And it said, like, she said that in the dream, she was, like, hysterical. Like, just tell me. Just tell me. And she said that the dream ended by me um, pulling out a gun and killing myself. She said she didn't see me as she blow my head off. But she said that. She saw me pull out the gun, put it to my head, pull the trigger, and I was in the dream. And I was like, didn't really even really want to think about it when she first told me about it. Because I was like, I don't need this right now. <laughs> but, you know, I thought about it. And I was like, eh, yeah, I'm not telling her. I can't tell her about that. I just can't. But, um, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, uh, that makes me to my next point. I was like, bro, you just got to fight them. That's all it takes. You just got to fight them. Once you have this knowledge, basically, uh, visualization is very important. I talked about before. Imagining and visualizing are not, they should not even be considered in the same category. Imagination is when somebody tells you about when you haven't seen a Marvel movie and somebody tells you about a fight scene and you imagine what it looks like, that's imagination. Visual visualization is when you're praying or something and you see the Father's Heavenly Spirit come down to surround you and go into you and then in real life you become invigorated because visualizing and imagining are two completely different things, right? That's all it really takes. Not that's not all it takes. Obviously, it takes space, but like basically, visualizing is important. It really, 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 really is, dog. Like now, it's very liberating. Even though I, they still be fucking with me, <laughs> I'm not going for it no more. None of that shit. And it feels good to be able to stand up and finally uh, fight back. Because it used to feel like I was helpless. But. <laughs> I say all that to say, man. Real talk. If you like. If it feels like you. Being attacked by some shit. It's because he is. Especially if you were trying to like. So shit. Go into your mind. Close your eyes. Pray. Ask your father. Reveal him to me. Reveal this. Reveal this. Reveal this. Reveal my enemy to me. In Aramaic, that means reveal the beast. Be like, reveal the enemy to me. And if you close your eyes and see a motherfucker with a, I don't know, these niggas come in all shapes and sizes. If you see a motherfucker looking crazy, punch him, <laughs> kick him, kill him, do whatever you need to. And then once you see that in the real life, this uncontrollable errors that was just taking you over, causing you to convulse and some more shit. <laughs> then you close your eyes, you see some grotesque ass being, a couple of them. You start putting in work, going crazy, beating the shit out of all of them. Like it was easy. Matter of fact, you had fun doing it. All of a sudden, you open your eyes and you feel like um, what was just happening to you never even happened. Then you realize that, hmm, maybe what I'm seeing 
is quite a bit more real than I originally anticipated. You know, this world is quite a bit deeper than one might think. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, y'all should rather rise up. Man. If you manage to make it all the way throughout this video and you're still complacent with where you are, then I don't have anything else to say to you, boy <laughs> or girl. At this point, saying time is of the evidence. Time is of the essence is about the dumbest shit niggas could say because time is the essence right now, bro. Like, time <laughs> is sensitive. Like, nigga, it's at this point, I <laughs> just get right. Just get right. Just endeavor to get right. Man. Just get right, get right, get right. That's all I can say. Um. Anything else I want to say? Nah, not really. If it is, I'll just make another video. Goddamn. Stay prayed up. All oh, glory to the Father, Yahuwah. In the name of Yahusha Abmashiach. All praises. We're going to be good. Don't even worry about it.